Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to cover Elegans Nana Cryptomeria. This is a dwarf cryptomeria. A lot of different types of cryptomeria. I think I've covered Yoshino on the channel. They can get 50 feet uh, plus. I had one at my old house that was probably 30 feet. Um, then I've covered Black Dragon Cryptomeria, which is kind of an upright, narrow one. It has really super kind of interesting look to it. Then I've covered a couple dwarfs, uh, Globosa Nana and uh, Black Dragon are two dwarfs that gets, are similar in size and shape to Elegans Nana. Elegans, um, it's, not, it's a little more prickly to the touch than Globosa or uh, Black Dragon, but I've always been drawn to this one. Always has a really interesting uh, look to me on, with the new growth being a lighter color than the older growth. Super slow growing and so easy to maintain as a foundation plant. This is about a two and a half foot high brick foundation under this porch rail. And these have been here for a long, long time, easily maintained in this shape without doing really anything to it. This is a plant that you can plant and go several years without doing any maintenance to it whatsoever. Uh, whatever maintenance you do do, you can do in the late winter, early spring, just a little bit of pruning, fertilize them at the same time. Really nothing to this. Elegans Nana can creep up to five or six feet in height and five or six feet in width over a very long period of time, over decades, really. Uh, these have been kept about two and a half feet high and maybe three to four feet wide. Super pest and uh, insect resistant, deer resistant, uh, just not a plant you're going to have to worry a whole lot about. They like even moisture. This is not a plant that you're going to want to get let get super dry. Uh, if it does, it will thin out in the interior, and I've seen them just um, they're hard, they're slow, they're so slow growing, they're also slow to recover from damage. So put them in a place that's kind of evenly moist. Uh, that drains well though, you don't want them sitting in water. This is an acid loving plant, so you can fertilize them with an acid, uh, fertilizer for acid loving plants. If you need to lower your pH, um, they would, uh, they would prefer that. But again, I've always been drawn to, uh, this particular variety because it's just, I mean, you can see these were planted, you know, uh, 18 years ago or something like that and they've just there's there's no maintenance to be done to them whatsoever again you can prune them in the late winter fertilize them at that time and not really worry about them other than that this is elegans nana cryptomeria thanks for watching